from food to Christmas gifts, and the Salvation mm -hmm. Army says it's coming up short this year to help Houstonians in need. The Christmas Eve Super Feast is also in need of donations before tomorrow's big holiday meal, and it is a huge mm -hmm. one. Denise Middleton is in our newsroom this morning with how to help both. Good morning to you. Hey, good morning. You know, it has been a tough year for a lot of folks, and the need is even greater this year as more requests have come in for many things like food, of course. And so Super Feast organiz organizers say while they have met their toy donation target for this year, they're in need of donations to make food baskets to feed families. The 45th annual Super Feast is happening tomorrow at the George R. Brown Convention Center from 10 to 2, and they need these donations. They say it's crucial. So for a list of what's needed to sign up, to volunteer as well. You can head to the citywideclub.com and you can drop off donations today at the George R. Brown Convention Center. Meantime, those who usually donate to the Salvation Army are being affected by inflation, so they're seeing a drastic drop in the number of donations this year. This as 2,000 more requests have come in for their popular Angel Tree program, providing gifts to kids and seniors in Houston. With it being the last few days of the Red Kettle campaign, they're hoping to raise as much money as they can to help families struggling this holiday season. We're doing good, but we're still a long way from our goal. Our goal this year is to raise a million dollars in our Red Kettle campaign, and we're a little over $700,000 with only a few days left. And although the red kettles will be put away by tomorrow, their campaign will continue online through their website and app. You can find that information on our website, box26houston.com. Live in the newsroom, Denise Middleton, Fox 26 News. All right.